Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers creating a one-line diagram for your project. Topics include generating the one-line, moving equipment and feeders, adding labels and circuit breakers, updating the diagram when changes are made to the project, and adding distribution equipment to the diagram. Let's get started. The one-line diagram is generated using the distribution equipment you've created in the project. You can use the Generate One Line and Generate Riser commands to simply select a starting point and let the software map out all of the downstream devices. But that can make it difficult to customize the layout, especially for larger projects. Instead, we'll start with the Insert Distribution Equipment command. This method allows you to modify each device as it is added to the diagram. In this dialog box, you can select the piece of distribution equipment to insert, whether feeders are drawn vertically for a one line or horizontally for a riser, and the block representing the selected device. You can also press the Edit button to make changes to the device. Select Util. Set the block to Utility Transformer Small. And press the OK button. Specify an insertion point for the transformer. Next, we'll add the H1 panel. Run the Insert Distribution Equipment command again. Select H1. Set the block to Custom Panel Box with Bus and press the OK button. You will be asked to draw a rectangle, then specify the length of the bus. If the rectangle and bus are drawn horizontally, you will also be asked to specify where the feeder will connect to the bus. We can let the software handle the rest of the diagram. Run the Generate One Line command. Here, you can set the starting point from a tree or list, or from the drawing. The Edit button is available for this command as well. Select Util. When you press the OK button, the remaining downstream devices will be drawn automatically using the default block settings. Moving distribution equipment on the diagram is as simple as using the AutoCAD Move command. The feeders and labels will follow. To adjust feeders, select the feeder and move each segment using the grips provided. Labels displaying the name, voltage, and other information for a piece of distribution equipment can be added using the Insert and Modify Labels command. Select panel H1. In this dialog box, you can set which labels are displayed, whether the label has a prefix or suffix, its alignment within the text box, and the size of the text. The value column shows how the label will be displayed on the drawing. For the description, add panel as a prefix. Spaces are not automatically included for prefixes and suffixes, so make sure you include one. When you make changes to a label, the label will be set to display automatically. For the volts label, check the box manually. For the fault at device in amps row, add fault equals as a prefix. Press the OK button to insert the labels on the drawing. 
specify the insertion point for the description label. Once the first label has been placed, you can press Enter to insert the next label directly below the previous one. Labels can be adjusted on the drawing using the grips provided. The center grip rotates the text box about the top left grip, which can be used to move the labels. The other grips are used to modify the size of the text box, which affects text wrapping. You can change the blocks on the diagram using the Change Graphics command. Select this feeder and press Enter. Here, you can set whether the feeder ID is displayed, the type of block displayed for the overcurrent protection, and the blocks displayed at either end of the feeder. Set the OCP block to Circuit Breaker and press the OK button. The block is inserted automatically and can be moved along the feeder using the grips provided. To show how easy it can be to track changes to your project on the one-line diagram, let's make some adjustments. Run the Panels command and find panel L2. Set bus amps to 150. Press the Save button and close the dialog box. You can also use the Query Device command to select and edit devices on the drawing. Run the command and select T1. Set the KVA to 150, then save and close the dialog box. To show these changes on the one-line diagram, run the update one-line diagram command. The labels have been updated to show the latest values. New distribution equipment can easily be added to an existing diagram, which we'll demonstrate by creating another panel. Run the Panels command, find panel L2, and press the Copy button. Name this panel L3, and close the dialog box. Next, we need to connect L3 to the rest of the system with the Connect Distribution Equipment command. For step 1, select L3 and select L1 for step 2. Set even breakers to 2 and change the number of poles to 3. Connect the devices and close the dialog box. Run the Insert Distribution Equipment command. Select L3 and press the OK button to insert the panel on the drawing. This concludes Part 3 of the Electrical Video Tutorial Series. In the next video, we'll cover light fixtures and receptacles.